A Beautiful Venus 11 had just been leaked and I'm gonna be checking it out and compare it so you don't have to. Quick look at the installation, it's still bearing the same Windows 10 branding as Build 21996 does. But the real difference is the watermark of build string and the do not take screenshot of this build as well as the build hash to identify the leak. Unlike build 21996, this doesn't have the artificial outrageous system requirement like build 21996 has. Going to the second phase, although this build has Windows 11 logo, but the starting device phase is, uh, yeah, it's still Windows 10. So how is this build leaked? In short, there was a computer festival back in 2021 that showcased a prototype of Ace laptop that came with build 21380. The photographer sent some screenshot over beta archive, meanwhile a Polish and an English tech website reviewed the laptop along with all its screenshots. Two years later, in 2023, an article on Beta World Wiki claimed that they have a copy of Windows 11 Build 21380, as well as three others. A few days later, it's shared through Archive.org and Google Drive. Looking at the OOBE, it still has no significant difference to Build 21996, other than the blurred background which is Hero in here, instead of Bloom as it hasn't been fully introduced yet. The setting up your PC is still in development stage as the font in here is in Times New Roman and also there is no glowing circle around the background. Here we are on the desktop and as you can see, Hero is still the default background of this build rather than Bloom in build 21996. Restarting this OS to take a look at the login screen, while it still uses the same Windows 10 design as build 21996 has, the default lock screen background is different by using one of the capture motion background. When you boot up to this build, it always opens desktop.ini upon going onto the desktop. As just like in the setup, the do not take screenshot of this build and also the build hash is present in here. Opening up File Explorer, this does looks like build 21996 with little to no difference to the UI whatsoever. But do note that this is build 21380 which is compiled 10 days earlier than build 21996 which is on June 11th. 2021, under FS Build Lab, which is considered to be the codename for self hosting efforts to develop Windows 11 features and whatnot. Looking at the taskbar, comparing it to the several internal builds, the taskbar icon color such as Start is colorized instead of Theme OAM Monochrome. Snap Layout is already present in this build as when I hover over to the Maximize button, it already shows layouts that makes it to the final build 22,000. But the difference in this build is that when you see the arrow snap, it still uses the old Windows 7 style animation, unlike what is on later builds which already has Windows 11 style animations. This also includes maximize, minimize, and close animation which it still uses Windows 10 style animation. Also don't forget that the tiling dual window mode is still using the Windows 10 style too. Windows 11 themes are already shipped in here, although it's not in the final form yet, as when you set up the dark mode theme in here, resulted in white border artifacts as well as outdated MS styles. The flow theme in here includes the unfinished, yet sets of bloom variants such as this, but with different color, which that makes it to the final release. Task view in here is still work in progress as the foreground color on this text is not white or not matched according to the light theme. And unlike in later builds, this still has a sliding animation from this 10 which is in my opinion should have been kept all along, although they plan to bring the animation back. Upon looking at this build, when I'm using it, it's notably slow, but why? Because of one service which is state recovery service that causes memory leak as you can see. Gosh, although I tried to end the task via task manager, I couldn't do it and well ended up in a whack-a-mole situation. So other than the time bomb which occasionally reminds you to install later version, is this a good build of Windows 11? Well, sorta, kinda they still kept some of the Windows 10 remnants animations that fits while well, some unfit with Windows 11 user experience. But do I recommend you to install this as a main operating system? Hell no, this is a beta build of Windows 11. This isn't meant to be used regularly, but if you want to try so then well, go ahead. Do it at your own risk. 
after looking at this quote unquote Windows 11 build, see the screen and yes, you're wrong. This isn't Windows 2000. Then what is this? Check out the video for sure. Thank you for my Patreon and YouTube supporters. Like, share, and subscribe. And also, don't forget to check out this quote unquote Windows 2000.